Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify tech. On my space here, I simplify different concepts in web development. And in this video, I'll show you how to cancel API requests in JavaScript. And by canceling API requests here, I mean when you make an API request to a server, if that request has not been completed yet, how do you cancel it? So I'm going to show you that. There can be a number of reasons why you'd want to cancel requests. I cannot, I'm not really focusing on use cases in this video, but there can be times where a request that you have made to a server is no longer needed or is no longer necessary. And instead of, you know, getting the response, you just want to abort mission, basically. So I'm going to show you that um, in this video. And I have this basic project here. This is uh, the front end part of it. And I have two buttons, make request, cancel request. And um, this is the code for it here in index.html. So this is the make request button. This is the cancel request button. I also have this P tag, which is empty. But in this P tag, I'm going to embed the result that I get from the server. And this is the script part of it here. So I get the make request and the make button and cancel button from the DOM and also the request um, result paragraph. And then I have this make request function which uh, makes a get request to this um, route here and then it embeds the result on the HTML part of the result p tag and also I catch the error if there's any and I have this cancel request function too which does nothing for now so I add an event listener of click to the make button where I make this request and then I have the cancel button which for now just logs cancel button clicked and this is the simple server I have here made with Node and Express and I have just one API route which is this and all this does is returns a JSON object with a message property and a response value. So now we can test this when I click on make request you can see a response indeed shows here. Now how do I cancel this request by clicking the cancel request? I mean for now this does nothing it just shows cancel button click. To do this, this is where we are going to start by using the abort controller constructor object or constructor function or constructor. So uh, I'm going to create a new object instance, abort controller. This abort controller um, object provides different properties, but the one I'm interested in particularly is the signal property and the abort method. And I'm going to show you that in a second. So first, let me start from the signal. About signal. About controller dot signal. Now this about signal. Um, before I go for that to explain it, I can log it to the console so you see how it looks like. This about signal has different properties. Uh, one of which is the aborted property, and this is a boolean which specify if this um, signal has been aborted. Or if it hasn't by default it is false so that's it for the abort signal and then for this cancel request here I'm going to call the abort method so the way this abort method works is when you call on abort it's going to update the aborted flag or aborted property of this abort signal object it's going to update it to true and I can quickly show you that so I'm going to log about signal here then I can replace this with cancel request so now when I click on cancel request you can see that the aborted flag is now true when it was false initially so how do we create a relationship between this abort signal and the fetch method this is where we are going to apply request options. Now with the fetch method, you can apply a number of request options. You can apply a body, cage, credentials, headers, and whatever. But the one I am more interested in is the signal property. So with this signal property, when you click on the cancel button, it's going to call cancel request. When we call on cancel request, it's going to call on the abort method of the controller. And this abort method is going to update the signal aborted property to true and it's also going to inform the observers of this signal which in this case is the fetch method it's going to uh, on inform them that this api request should be aborted but now we cannot really try it because when we click on make request this is already too fast we already get our response so it is not aborted 
So to create a delay for our response on the server here, I can create a set timeout. And I can put this here and I can just put this for two seconds. So now our request is going to take two seconds before giving us um, a response. So when I go back here, when I click on make requests, I can cancel the request. And now you can see abort error, the user aborted a request. But another thing you also need to note is if I try to make request again, it is going to throw an error because I have already aborted this request. I cannot make the request again because in JavaScript, you cannot exactly reset an abort controller. Once it is aborted, it is aborted. So to resolve this, what you have to do is to um, come up here and you just have your abort controller, just have it here without assigning any value. And you're going to move this to the make requests um, function. So you have the abort controller here, not assign a value. And then basically when you click on, when you call make request, you are creating a new abort controller instance. So you are always creating a new one when you attempt to make a request. The reason why I'm putting this above here is so that the cancel request can also make use of the abort controller. So we go here now and when you make request, you can cancel the request. When you make request again, you can cancel the request. And when you make a request without canceling the request, then in two seconds, you get a response. And that's it. Also, you can use Axios. With Axios, Axios provides a similar syntax. So you can call Axios.get, provide the API, and in the request options, you can also pass the abort signal. So basically, any API um, request tool or library that provides this signal object, you can attach this signal to it such that it would inform that library that they should abort mission. And um, that's basically it for this video. So just to just a recap, uh, you have the abort controller instance, which has the signal object that has the aborted property. And when the aborted property is true, you can cancel a request. And how do you make it true? By calling the abort method of the abort controller instance. If you found this video helpful, kindly leave a like, kindly subscribe, and also share with whoever you believe would find this helpful.